it's past eight and I've got Hannah and Jerome in the studio. Hey! I'm so excited because this is the TWT team back again to take over. I'm so, so happy. Thank you for coming in. No problems. Thank Original you gangsters. Me. You know, I'm not a gangster though. OGs. Uh, yeah, oh right, yeah, I like that. Original OG. Yeah, I'm an OG. Yay. Yay. Get involved in the conversation. 0208 579 Yes. Now, right now, mm-hmm. I have you both in because today I wanted to discuss something that honestly I have seen all over social media and it has irked my soul, okay? Can you see yeah. the face? Uh. Irked my soul. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I try to be quite ugly, but it's just so hard for me, you, you know? know you, you look beautiful all the time, Jason. Oh, thanks, Hannah. Like, that's why she's my sister. Mm-hmm. Jerome, I'm waiting. What's the story? Okay, <laughs> so right now the question that I do have to ask you is because I've seen what's been going on in social media and yeah. there's so many controversies mm-hmm. and so many destructive stories that I'm reading yeah. and I saw Maya Jama attack you know, Sky News in terms of the way that they labelled the New Zealand terrorist attack and called it a calm, ter- uh, a calm person. Oh, a calm attacker. Yeah, calm attacker. a calm attacker. And then that got me thinking about what we discussed earlier on about Michael Jackson mm-hmm. and the music industry and I wanted to get you both here because I know you're both in your own rights of media, entertainment, acting. So my question to you is, do you think that there is a double standard with colour and race in the way the media portrays news? Yes, I certainly do. Um, I think that the media, not just in the UK, but all around the world, uh, especially in the US as well, is extremely biased against people of black, Asian or ethnic minorities. (laughs) To answer that question is like asking is the world extremely biased towards the media is a part of the society we Mm. live in like media reflects the society we live in the society we live in um, unfortunately is not very balanced at all yeah so yes the media does portray people of color in a certain way that it doesn't right portray its counterparts right i completely agree with both of you but to an extent just because right now i feel like we're in such a sensitive place in the world in terms of i think a lot of people whether you're black white asian are having to deal with the consequences of their actions we see Lori Loughlin and what's going on in terms of her bribing her way to get her children into their colleges. First of all, how do we feel about that? Like, you really had to bribe your children to get in in terms of, I studied that A-level. Mm-hmm. It did not do well. Yeah. It was hard, okay? And then on top of that, I had to do this application form. Do you know how hard it is to do UCAS? Yeah. That thing was so annoying to fill out. And for you to tell me that someone even filled out your daughter's <laughs> application... I was annoyed. I completely agree. And I do think that these, all the people who are involved in this, um, you know, in this whole scam, this whole scandal will actually face jail time. That's my opinion on it. Do you it. think I mean, they're going to, really? I think so, yeah, I really oh, do. Wow. Because the whole of the States and, you know, you know, across the pond here in the UK and in Europe, you know, people are really angry about it and rightfully so. And I agree with you that it's a reflection of how the media is changing and how we are kind of, you know, showing you know the white you know, the white man can Supremacy, do wrong yeah. that kind of thing right, but i okay. actually think that for me at least there may have been quite a big turning point with the whole me too uh, campaign because i feel that a, a lot of the people who were um, accused of sexual harassment or the rest of it were predominantly white yeah. men yeah. and i think that that was a turning point because we couldn't shy away from Harvey Weinstein we couldn't shy away from what he did and i think that was a bit of a change within the media and how they portray white men. The thing is, I agree with that. And then also I go further in terms of what's going on with Michael Jackson. We have Leave in Netherland. We have Oprah interviewing the people that were actually on the show itself, the documentary. By the way, I do not believe you. What's his name? Dwayne. Wade, Wade yeah. Robson. Don't believe you. There's something about his body language. And I'm like, there's something off. The other one, I believe, I don't know. He just seems very scarred by the situation. Mm-hmm. But is that because Wade Robson was a celebrity and now he is not really a celebrity anymore and you're um, kind of thinking ooh he just wants his fame back as a kind of natural reaction that many other people have I didn't know he have. was a celebrity until he said it that's how much I didn't know you really, were really I had I his really video did not. it was like DVD is he the one that apparently Britney Spears yes. cheated on Justin Timberlake with yes that's him um, tst, drink the tea <laughs> this show has everything that you need but yeah. going back to that the fact that Harvey Weinstein was you know exposed and all of that stuff at 
the same time, I don't see Oprah interviewing the victims that have come forward about the situation with Harvey. I feel like the way that the media has portrayed Michael Jackson to be this villain, and I don't really see it. I see it somewhat with Harvey, but not enough because they've taken down his music, they've taken down his awards, his memorabilia all over the world. I want to see Pulp Fiction out of the way, not because mm. I don't like it, but because I see Harvey Weinstein when I see Pulp Fiction, when I see Lord of the Rings. That's that's the name that went around. I, I know it hurts. It I'll hurts. Take Pulp Fiction away from I know me. it hurts. But what I'm saying is, you want to do that to Michael Jackson. It has to be the same punishment for every single person. And also speaking about Michael Jackson, the other thing that I saw was when I looked at things like Elvis Presley, Hill, uh, Hugh Hefner, Elvis Presley met his wife at 14. Yep. We never labeled him as a pedophile. Whereas with Michael Jackson, the things that we've seen, you know, the person's underage and then we label pedophile and all of that stuff. I think that with Hugh Hefner as well, apparently Holly, she was a girlfriend. Yeah. She had a book and she came out saying that Hugh Hefner actually was offering them this drug that allowed them to open their pants. <laughs> <laughs> and Hugh Hefner is the man, you know, the king of women, the man that has all the women at his beck and call. Yet we don't know the things that he did behind closed doors. There's so many stories that he sexually yeah. assaulted women and um, dehumanized them. Like the Elvis stuff, I think that's all like within time. Like Elvis really passed away at a certain time where you can't really like look back on it. Because like back then, yeah, it's still wrong. She was 14, but, but uh, it's all Michael about Jackson's the time. Michael back then. Michael Jackson died in 05. Yeah, but it's still but he's back still, like, then. It but Michael Jackson's then. still the, like the biggest pop star in the world even to this day. Elvis Presley has Elvis. his thing. When was the last time you played Elvis? I never played when him, was period. Last, when I was the last really time you kept... heard Elvis anywhere? Like, I heard Elvis. Thank you. Yeah. I like Save Elvis. Me. No, I'm not saying you yeah, like him. Like when, when was the last time in pop culture like you heard Elvis? Elvis is <clears> not <throat> only sampled all the time, he's played a lot as well. Fine, he's not played on, you know, West Side. He might not be played no, I'm not on even saying West Side. I'm just talking like he's Michael played. Jackson. On and um, he's classic. A lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Obviously, that Kate is Magic FM. It, it, he, uh, his songs are I'm covered not, all the time. I'm not saying that they aren't. I'm just trying to say with Michael Jackson, yeah, like he's literally in every facet of but pop Hugh culture Hefner to this was day. That as well with Playboy because there were so many underage girls on the cover of Playboy magazine, and it was never a big, big scandal like that to the point where people are coming out to make a documentary and get it interviewed by Oprah Winfrey. It's like Oprah, first of all, did is Oprah wrong for doing that, or is that her job? No, that's her job. But I actually think that my opinion on it is that Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, these are people who were in a position of power mm. and they abused and it. And they abused that power. They exploited people. Whereas someone like Hugh Hefner, having perhaps underage girls on the front cover of his magazines, I don't know if he was forcing her to pose nude with a gun to her head. I'm not saying that Michael or R. Kelly did that. The fact that with this Michael Jackson, you know, documentary, I think it's difficult for people to kind of, you know, believe it because he wasn't just a pop star. He was an icon. Icon. And I watched the documentary. I found it very difficult to watch. So I watch, try to watch it four times. It's difficult. But honestly, I, I think it. because he is, he's huge. I mean, he's as big as the Beatles. I mean, he really changed everything. Yeah. He is so enormous. I mean, when he died, people killed themselves. Yeah. He was so huge that it's hard to comprehend that someone who perhaps people view as some kind of deity right. could do these things, could actually do something right. so inhumane. Right. And just to go further, you know, I spoke about what Maya Jamma said. She said that they, on the Sky News actual yeah. article, they said, who is this calm attacker who killed z dozens in New Zealand? Yeah. I saw another headline about Shamima Begin and they said, Brit li lives won't be risked to rescue terrorist Shamima Begin and bring ISIS bride back to UK. Mm -hmm. Can you see the difference? Yeah. Calm attacker, white, Terrorist Shamima Begin, ISIS bride. Yep. Very, very different, very similar. In fact, even worse because this person actually shot people. Yep. What's going on? That's like, they do that all the time. Like, anytime there's like a, a mass shooting in America, they'll tell you all about how he was such a sweet, oh, wonderful suffered. child who suffers from Depression mental illness. And mental illness. Like, one time I saw a story about a man, uh, this black guy getting shot in America. How can the picture that they put of him was his mugshot? Like that's the picture wow. they chose of the guy that was the victim wow. was his mugshot, and the police officer was just like him and his family. Wow! And those were the pictures. Wow! Like, that's, that's just that's the society shocking. we live in. But when we look at someone like Kevin Spacey, mm -hmm. he was also accused of sexual assault. With in terms of now men coming forward, mm. I don't feel like people were 
as hard on him as they could have been in terms of compared to Harvey Weinstein. I think that people empathize more with the female victims than the male victims coming forward with Kevin Spacey. He had 30 people coming forward to say that he did wrong to them. That's a big number. He's gone off the place, uh, face of the planet. There's no documentary here. What's going on? There's no interview by Oprah. I, I do feel like there's something going on in terms of it, there's no fairness. Do you think men have it like worse? Yes, or do you think I think men have, it have worse? it worse. Do you think men have yeah. it worse than women? Yeah, they have it worse. I disagree. I think it's all really. It's it's, it's all it, it's all contextual. Men might have it worse when it comes to public arguments, um, but women have it worse when it comes to body image. I would argue. I know men also have issues with body image in the media, but I think it's all contextual. I don't Definitely. think that's fair. I don't think it's fair either. Why do you think that is the narrative for celebrity news? Women have to have it worse than Why? men. Why? Why have to? Because we men... We deserve it. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we're stronger anyway, so it's we fine. We can take it. Yes, we can take it. <laughs> we raise you. There's okay. A, there's a... You know the saying that you work for the man, right? That is... There's a reason... I don't, I've never heard that. <laughs> never in my life. You never heard... No. You never heard, I, I'm not going to break my back for the man. Like, no. Well, I've heard, heard conform, conform to the man. No. You've, you've never heard no. the man like No, this. because we are special. Yeah. We are love. Not happening. Okay, so the reason why I'm saying is the man, for example, is just because of uh, the disparity between men and women in certain kind of jobs, right? Mm. So women will tend to have it worse than men is because the men tend to be the ones who are up top in control. They're the ones who are creating right. the narrative. Right. right. So it's the white men at the top of the food chain that are creating the narrative that wow. shape and portray us to the rest of the world. The thing is, there's two things that pop into my mind. I completely agree just because if a man came forward, I feel like people are less likely to sympathise when he is a victim. Whereas when a woman comes forward, even though they do scrutinise what's happened and they question it, it's more likely for you to say that is the victim, if you get what I mean. I think there is some sort of empathy that we have towards women and what's going on in the media in terms of sexual assault and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. At the same time, I saw the story about this mum that apparently tried to manipulate her child to think that she was ill. Oh, and um, story. Yeah, that story. But the way that they portrayed that narrative when the child, I think she killed her mother. Mm -hmm. It was like victim, victim, victim. But we don't know what happened with Michael Jackson and R. Kelly because what I've heard is that they also went through a lot of abuse and things growing up. Mm -hmm. They're not victims, you know. R. Kelly is indeed a victim. Like, if you really look in deep down on it, he's a kid that's been abused. But so, so was her that people, child her... that killed her mother. She was a victim. Yeah. So why is she but labelled she's... victim? R. Kelly's labelled pedophile and all of that because stuff. at least <laughs> at least with the girl the person that she's hurting was the person that hurt her mm. so we could understand that anger to mm. come from that point r kelly is a person Wisdom. who's a hurt person who's hurting other people yes. who's hurting other innocent people yes. putting them through that making a cycle so we can't see him as a victim i cannot see him as he's a not victim. a victim no at all what the things that i saw that he did made me feel physically sick if they are true because it's all alleged mm -hmm. if he really did do that that's an issue it's all about the star power of the people right. as well. like agree. harvey weinstein before this wasn't a big deal right. like he really wasn't he was but huge like, we just didn't yeah we didn't know I, I mean i knew who he was because like, i cared of about our, stuff like that you know jobs but that's it like with harvey I don't know. I looked at him. I said he was guilty. So I could of just course, see in his face. Of course. Right. There are videos out exactly. there of him touching his secretary. And I'm like, what? And there's not like, there's no like, there's no like this big like divide in you. Whereas if you watch the Michael Jackson doctor, you're like, oh, that's really He's messed the only up. He's person that I don't know. But it's am true. I really going to stop listening to Billie Jean? It's like, true. this is it's the hard. dichotomy really you have true. with yourself. R. Kelly, I was at a party. Someone played his song. And I honestly w w went mad. I found it. I really don't want to listen to any of R. Kelly's music. I find mm. it very difficult because I really think R. Kelly is evil. I really think he is evil. I think he needs help in terms of being evil. I don't feel like he sought out to hurt people. I think that he has a deep temptation that he has to deal with, deep demons he has Keeping to deal with. Keeping against their will is wrong. Okay, you know, you know what, what you're right. That's a demon there. I'm sorry. It's, like, yeah. it's, so, it's such a tricky right. subject, but 
Michael Jackson, I would argue, that's has worse. issues. No, I think it's worse. worse it's that's, worse. That's it's evil, old. and he's destroying these children's lives. He is more messed up than R. Kelly. R. Kelly is knows what he was. I feel like R. Kelly had more of an idea of what he was actually doing. The thing the is, thing. it's hard to say that because R. Kelly was also he yeah. went through his own sexual stuff when he was yeah. young, apparently by his own sister. Mm -hmm. Oh it was my his sister gosh. that did it to him, and she was alleged. apparently uh, alleged. Yeah, you know, yeah. apparently, apparently means alleged. I mean, come on. But <laughs> I'm like, just saying, <laughs> <laughs> but apparently say she it. asked him to do certain things at such a young age I still think it's wrong for anybody over the age of like a certain age to be in bed with a boy of how a certain are your age. parents like, allowing this I think this? that's that's completely that's gross to me so like for me regardless of whether he actually did or he didn't do it like that mindset alone <laughs> is just disgusting Very yeah. and I really can't like really mess with that yeah. to be honest with you it's so uh, advice out there to anyone that has actually gone through any of these really horrific things that we've discussed also your roundup comment about what we've discussed in whole unfortunately like the world isn't fair like mm. you're gonna people are gonna be portrayed and seen in a certain way we don't get to control our own narratives the only way we can do that is by having more people mm. of color more women and people like that on top and in charge amen so anyway. to that i completely agree more diversity men women color everything religion the better i can't imagine what it feels like to actually have that desire but I have to empathise that people can actually have that desire and I know it's shocking to feel that way but it happens as we've seen. Get the help that you need to those that are suffering.